let us get another episode of break time and we're back to the diary of the dark work sisters so we're gonna get Mary and elsa back break time <laughs> okay we got roswell and elsa basically employer and employee all right all the clown music Using the meteor to converse with Elsa. Because we we know of this in season one. That's how the fingers are communicating. We took this, then we trolled better the goose with you know Felix being in the uh in the meteor. And now Elsa is being coached by Roswell. Just open up all the doors. <laughs> Last time, so it's pretty much 100% confirmed that it was also an Arc 1 as well. I mean, I guess the failure, while it may look bad on an employee's, right? I don't think you can really blame her if Reinhardt got involved. I, I'm sure even Roswell was like, you know what? Yeah, Reinhardt showed up. It's totally fine. I understand that. But this time, surely you can do it, right? Kashira. I don't know. I'm just always used to Biko saying Kashira. I guess there's a lot of those meteors, huh? I thought these were like expensive items, like a smartphone. Like, you don't want to just like snap up your iPhone after you, you know, discuss your criminal intents. But every time, okay, they've been getting rid of it. They got a lot of these. それにしてもエルザの依頼主って変な喋り方よね。Yeah, he does it on purpose. But why? I think that the more I thought about why Roswell, like the current Roswell, resembles Hector so much in terms of drip and speech pattern, maybe he just thought that Hector was such a strong person that proved Roswell wrong back in the day, and Roswell basically then created this whole philosophy about sacrificing everything and focusing on one thing. And he just kind of wanted to be like Hector because Hector was just that fucking strong. So he copied his drip. He copied his speech pattern just so he can glaze the person that like shit on him before. Maybe. わざとそうわざとお芝居みたいな喋り方で自分を偽ってるそんな感じかしらねお芝居 does the makeup and speech pattern have anything beyond copying Hector? Why would Hector even act like that? Like, Roswell, I think, like, I don't know if Hector is also putting on an act, but at the end of the day, if you have someone that resembles, like, a clown, right? You, you have your guard down. Like, when I first saw Roswell in, in Arc 2, I didn't think much of him. I'm like, oh, and even Subaru too. He was like, look at this. You guys hire a clown in this mansion? It's a, I, I think at the end of the day, it is to kind of, like, lower the guard and the expectations of people so Roswell can just catch you off guard. She should probably hate Roswell's eyes as well, right? Because Elsa despises Subaru's eyes. Because those eyes are not of an eye that, of a regular person that's about to die, but because, you know, Subaru knows that he's gonna fucking repeat. It, it, it's, it's different. I wonder if Roswell has something similar. Okay, it's it's such an in, it's such an important interview. It's such an in, important assassin hiring process, and they're and they're going off of vibes. Roswell just going off of vibes on how he feels when he looks at a person's eyes. I I know that it's more than just vibes. I don't know, but it, it is such a a vibe check. You know, like like for sure you can kind of understand what kind of person they are by looking at their eyes. But damn. 
それだけ聞くとちゃんとした人な気がするけど依頼内容が身内殺しよちゃんとしているはずがないわエルザのくせに正論ファミリーメンバー Because when you say family member I'm thinking directly Mather's family members Not Bieko or anyone else in the mansion that you would consider family because you're so close together Family member like like Bieko for sure I, I get it like right They're not blood related but if you've seen we've seen the backstory right Basically, Echidna is our mother together, but、uh, this is probably not the Mather's family, right? I'm sure it refers to Bieko. Well, I think it's a little bit of a little bit of a l i t t Okay, interesting characterization of Elsa. Well, we know that Roswell doesn't value lives because he knows that all he has to do is follow the fucking book and he's willing to throw away anything, sacrifice everything for the sake of one single goal. But Elsa actually values people who cherish their lives because people that don't cherish lives will not show despair. Is that what it is? Because at the end of the day, if you cut open a person who doesn't cherish lives, Like, their face is not gonna have those horrified looks of despair and terror that maybe Elsa cherishes. <laughs> My head cannon. Petra, no, Federica! Kill them all. How did she turn out like this? I mean, Pet, I mean, m a d e y is pretty young, but like, damn. Like, she is just so fucking evil and cold. But then again, the Archbishop of Gluttony, Lai Baikentos, he's 13. But like, age has nothing to do with it. Maybe you could argue it's even easier to like make super young kids. Just be so corrupt and evil from the start because they never had like a proper role model and they're easier to influence. Subaru. I love that. They went all out. They actually did Elsa tongue lick in chibi mode in break time. They went all out. Oh. Mm -hmm. Natsuki Subaru. Yeah. Oh. Yo! Elsa monologue at the end there? The boy whose eyes showed the resolve to save everything with Natsuki Subaru right over here. That was kind of hype. Actually, kind of getting fucking chills, bro. Like, god damn, this break time is so hype. They're really setting up the stage for. The, <laughs> this is our counter attack. Yes. You know how, like, season three announcements, there's like an attack arc and there's like a counter attack arc? I feel like right now, this is our counter attack arc for season two, right? We're going back to the fucking mansion. We got the boys this time. We know what to do. And man, it's gonna be an all out battle. Shit's getting hyped. I will see you on the actual episode.